can use all the solar power we can get to help warm up our temperatures that this morning are starting off very cold. 18 degrees right now in Columbus and Indianapolis. We're at 17 in Muncie and Terre Haute and 16 in Bloomington for you. Not too much of a wind, but it doesn't take a whole lot. You notice it does feel colder than the air temperature in Indy. 11 degrees. We're in the single digits for a wind chill for you this morning. In Peru, it feels like it is 7. So you're going to need to bundle up as you head out this morning. Later this afternoon, we'll start to see those clouds increase. Temperatures do get around to just above the freezing mark. 33 in Lafayette, 35 this afternoon in Bloomington, and 34 in Richmond. So a pretty good looking day for us. As I mentioned, though, those clouds will be building in. Right now, we are all dry and quiet on Trueview radar. Back to the west, you see the clouds, and then we get into a little bit of snow from around Wichita up into portions of South Dakota and even southwestern Minnesota this morning. They'll be dealing with a little bit of that snow. Here's a look at TrueCast. By lunchtime, we start to see the clouds really building back into the area, and TrueCast very dry with this system tonight. There's not a lot of moisture with it, so I think some scattered snow showers, uh, especially after 7 o'clock, and that will continue to be the case as we go through the overnight into Sunday morning. Here you see all the gray representing the cloud cover that we'll have. Then on Sunday, we'll stay with mostly cloudy skies. Temperature's not quite as cold tonight thanks to that cloud cover and a little bit of a south wind. We're at 36 at noon and improving temperatures approaching the 40 degree mark as we go into the afternoon around 38 or so, but that is only because that's ahead of a weather system that brings a little more moisture with it and a better chance for some snow as we get into Sunday evening. Truecast trying to bring in some snow showers and maybe even a little wintry mix to start things off, but that should quickly change over as we get to around 9 o'clock Sunday night. Heading out for the Colts game, we'll be dealing with some of that light snow. Could have a couple of heavier snow bursts, and then this will start to taper off as we go into the Monday morning commute. You notice we're left with just a few flurries and light snow showers. But Sunday night snow system, as we mentioned, has a little greater potential for some accumulation, but it's going to be a sharp cutoff line from south to north. We're going to really see this favoring the southern half of the state and some slick Monday morning commute. But uh, here's a look at how this all kind of moves for us as we are looking at that snow fall potential. And again, we could see around an inch to two inches along Interstate 70 areas to the south, maybe up to three inches around Columbus. Here's your seven-day planning forecast now. Another shard of Arctic air comes our way on Tuesday. We'll start off with temperatures in the lower teens, a high of just 22, but then we start to see some moderation. At this point, things around 40 degrees don't look too bad for the end of the week.